Before the video starts, I want to give a big shout out to Rigatoni for giving me a donation on Patreon. Thank you so much. If you could please follow me on Instagram, I'm getting very close to a thousand followers, and I would really appreciate it. Thank you. The worst sleep paralysis I've ever had was when I was starting to fall asleep in my bed. What I remember is lying there staring at my closet and seeing the door slowly open. I started to freak out and try to wake myself up, but no matter what I did, I continued being paralyzed. After a few seconds, I see this being start to move in my closet. I had no idea who or what it was, but I knew this thing was bad. Slowly, he walked up to my bed and I was able to see its face. Usually I'm not scared of clowns, but what I saw terrified me. It was the face of a clown with gashes all over its face, teeth as sharp as razors, black eyes burned with a fiery intensity that you could actually see the eyes even though it was pitch black in my room. When it finally reached my bed, it smiled at me and made this raspy noise close to chuckling, but more on a murderous side, sort of like a raspy laugh that someone choking on blood would make. All the while, he started to lift his arms and show the bloody claw-like hands that were connected to its grotesque arms. Suddenly, with a flash of movement, it grabbed my neck and it started to strangle me. I could do nothing about it. I tried to wake myself up, but I couldn't. Usually, I'm very good about waking myself up during sleep paralysis, but this time, it was impossible. After what seemed like an eternity of not being able to breathe, it released me and disappeared into the closet once more. I woke up to nothingness. My closet was still closed, as was my door, and nothing was out of place. Slowly, I checked my room for anything out of the ordinary. Someone in my closet, bloody footprints, anything, but found nothing. So feeling slightly safer, I laid back down and tried to fall asleep. But to my horror, the exact same thing happened to me again. But this time, I felt the pain of its hands cutting into my throat, along with the lack of ability to breathe. After another eternity of torture, I awoke to nothing out of the ordinary. I searched my house and found nothing. All the doors were locked, windows also, and everything was still and peacefully quiet. Having been thoroughly scared shitless, I made my way to the bathroom to relieve my stress, and to my horror, I see bruising and red marks around my neck. What I still can't seem to figure out is, who or what was strangling me? I was a religious nut for a while, so this might go down well with the atheist crowd. I have two sleep paralysis stories. The first one. I woke up paralyzed on my side and was convinced I was about to be abducted. Flashing lights and what sounded like alien gibberish being spoken just outside my window. I was very young and never told anyone about this, simply because I knew it must have been some kind of weird sleep-wake phenomenon that I experienced. The second incident was way more surreal and I was convinced for more than a year that it was a religious experience. I woke up on my back to a very deep and commanding voice speaking to me. The voice sounded exactly like thunder, it's cliche I know. The dude told me he was going to show me something and my ceiling became a huge whirlpool of dark water. Everything around me was trapped in it somehow and soon it seemed like my whole town was succumbing to the whirlpool. It felt like I was somehow above the water even though I was looking up. I remember feeling terribly helpless as I saw my friends and family sucked into the chaos, especially my little sister. I just couldn't scream or reach out and help anyone. The voice was quiet while all this happened, but just as everything seemed to be coming to an end, the voice just proclaimed very loudly, You, and I woke up. 
It honestly felt like God had given me a vision and then commanded me to wake up, interpret the vision, and do something about it. I translated it as meaning that my whole town is full of sinners and I should try to save their sorry asses. So for two years, I became a devout Christian, doing all the worship shit, hassling Jews and sinners, all that crap. What a waste of fucking time it was. Now I'm a laid-back atheist, calmly nudging people into the direction of freedom from religious guilt and idiocy. I used to get sleep paralysis a lot, but never combined with a nightmare until a couple months ago. I took a nap after class. I remember waking up a couple hours later and being paralyzed. No big deal at first since I was used to it. But then, out of the corner of my eye, I saw a figure. It was a woman. She was pale white with a white flowing dress. Her hair was also white and completely covered her face. At first, I thought she was standing, but then I realized that she was floating, just floating there, in my doorway, staring straight ahead. My bed is situated diagonally from the door, so she wasn't looking at me. I could faintly hear a static sound. Well, at this point, I was pretty fucking unnerved, even though I was awake enough to know that this was all a dream. Suddenly, she wasn't in the doorway, but was now several feet into my room still staring straight ahead, just floating there, her dress billowing slowly as if she was underwater. I never saw her move. The static sound got louder. I tried wiggling my toes to snap awake, and then suddenly, she was closer to my bed, but still staring straight ahead. Again, I never saw her move closer. She just got closer. My struggling to wake up intensified, now, she was at the foot of my bed, and the hissing static sound was piercingly loud. I woke up screaming like a banshee. Completely terrified, I didn't get any sleep that night. I never experienced a sleep paralysis nightmare combo again. Fucking sleep paralysis, man. I've posted this before. But still, my strongest memory is when I was laying in my bed with my girlfriend at the time. I woke up from a really intense dream I had. I tried to turn around, but I couldn't move a muscle. All of a sudden, I hear a man yell, Watch out! He's awake! At that moment, I fully panicked. I felt a big pressure on my chest and had the idea I was tied down on a huge dentist-like chair. Then I heard a huge metal door close very loudly and then a silence, which to me lasted for an eternity. A moment later, I heard nothing but my girlfriend breathing in her sleep. I knew she was lying next to me. I used all the power in me to move or wake her up in some way, but it was futile. I still couldn't move. I was 100% sure I was abducted by aliens, who as soon as I woke up, transported me from their ship back to my bed somehow. When I could move again, I was still in panic, so I woke up my girlfriend who annoyingly told me to go back to sleep and tell her in the morning, I'm a bit disappointed. I look at the clock, it's around 4 a.m. I go downstairs, grab a glass of juice and smoke a cigarette in my garden, explaining to myself what happened. I took my tablet and then found out it was sleep paralysis. To this day, I am 100% sure that anyone who truly believes they have been abducted by aliens just encountered sleep paralysis. I only have sleep paralysis after the use of ecstasy. It's always the night after consuming MDMA. It seems like every time it happens, it always gets worse. Also, the more ecstasy I have, the more severity of the sleep paralysis. It has happened so much to me that I have actually gotten used to it. The first time I can recall it happened was about four years ago. I was lying down on the floor in broad daylight with my face down. I could only see out of the corner of my eyes and boom, it happened. A monkey ran by my face, evilly snickering. I couldn't move. 
He ran by again. I tried to scream and yell, but I couldn't. The third time he ran by, I noticed he was carrying a knife. At that point, I was scared shitless. Then he ran behind me, still evilly laughing, as if he was possessed by a demon. I heard and felt his footsteps go farther away, then come closer as I felt the knife enter the back of my neck with a loud ringing noise in my ear. I was in so much pain, and I still couldn't move. Then I snapped out of it and told all my friends my story. They all laughed as if it was a joke. I've had hundreds of similar experiences since then, such as out-of-body experiences, being strangled, severely beaten, having my whole body crushed, visualizing crazy shit happening as if I were in a Stephen King movie. You name it, it has happened to me. It always happens right before I go to sleep. So now, whenever I know it's going to happen, I get some popcorn and enjoy the show. I found that if I don't fight to get out of sleep paralysis, it becomes more intense. Sometimes, I try to see how much of the pain and suffering I can handle, like this one time. It started off not bad at all. There was a beautiful girl holding a stick. Let me set the scene. I was barely awake in the dark, lying on my friend's couch. She was giggling and started softly tapping on my head with the stick. At that point, I was relaxed, couldn't move, but I didn't fight to get out of it. I was trying to talk to the girl, but I couldn't say anything. Then, the tapping turned into thumping and the giggling turned to laughing. I still didn't try to fight and break free. I tried to tell her to please stop and that she's so beautiful. That's when the thumping turned into pounding and the laughing turned into evil, devilish laughs. At that point, I was in so much pain from the pounding that I had to try and break free, but I couldn't, and the pounding got harder, and the laughing got louder. Then finally, I broke out of it, and the pain was gone, but the girl was still there, just standing there. I got up and turned on the light, only to still see a faint outline of the girl standing there. And then, she was gone. I am almost fascinated, yet very frightened about these things that happen, and I would love to hear other people's stories. My sleep paralysis never came with visual hallucinations. I had the first one when I was 19. I was sleeping in the living room on a mat, young, broke, no bed. And suddenly, I felt a hand on my throat and one on my abdomen, pulling my soul through the floor. Unlike many of these stories, I did not think I was awake. I knew I was asleep. Usually when I was having a bad dream, I could tell myself to wake up, but not this time. I tried to move, knowing that this would wake me up. I couldn't. I could open my eyes. I even saw my roommate's boyfriend come out to the kitchen for water. I could not wake up. Finally, I managed to push myself up with one arm and wake up, but I could still feel the hands grasping, warm. And I was so tired, all I wanted was to sleep. But every time I would start to go back to sleep, those hands would be pulling my soul back out of my body. I finally got up and went into my roommate's room and began watching TV with her and the boyfriend. Even in the room talking to her, I could still feel the hands on my throat and my abdomen. Eventually, they wanted to sleep, so I went back out to sleep in the living room. But the hands were still there, still waiting to drag me down, and I was still so tired. Finally, I decided to try sleeping on my side, and it worked. Sort of. The hands were still there, grappling, trying to pull me down, but they weren't able to get a grip. I slept. The next time sleep paralysis happened was about a year later than every six months, but they were not as bad as the first one. I would wake up and they'd be gone. Then I got pregnant and they began to come more frequently, always the same, always a hand coming and grabbing my throat and pulling me down. I was never choking. My soul was always just being pulled down through the bed to hell. Interestingly though, when I was in the hospital, while they still came, they no longer came at me from under the bed. Instead, 
I'd feel a hand reach from the bottom of the bed, feel its warmth as it grabbed my ankle, and try to pull my soul out that way, while my soul fought to stay in my body. By the time I had my baby and went home, they were nightly, and I was so tired. But every night, they'd come again. I reasoned that it was just a dream and couldn't hurt me, and one night, when it came, I just thought, whatever, just do what you're gonna do and get it over with, still telling myself it was a dream. I knew as soon as the thought formed that I most definitely did not mean it, but it was too late. The dream changed. There was still no visual, but it was like I was in this maelstrom of wind, buffeting me from all directions. But it wasn't wind. It was hands, grasping, grabbing. I tried to break free, tried to wake up. I couldn't. Then came a thought. Let us have your baby and we'll leave you alone. You can always get help for him later. That was enough. Now I was mad. So I called out, God, get them out of here. And they were gone. The weirdest part was, they never came back. Even though I've suffered from sleep paralysis as far back as I can remember and have had many scary incidents, the one I had the other night was terrifying. I am used to sleep paralysis for the most part, so even though I initially get startled, I have learned to relax and go with it and do my best to go back to sleep. Anyhow, about a week ago, I awoke, like I am every night, and there were at least three very dark shadowy figures floating around above me darting back and forth towards my face in an aggressive manner and basically scaring me. And, as usual, I couldn't move so I closed my eyes so I couldn't see it and that's when it went onto my bed. Moving around my bed, I could really feel it, so I screamed, Get out of here now! But it continued. I would open my eyes and there were those damn shadowy floaty things swarming around. I close my eyes and here comes the movement on the bed. I pray to God to make it stop, but it never does. I know it's my brain playing tricks on me due to whatever it is that causes sleep paralysis, but sometimes just knowing what something is doesn't make it easier to handle. This happened to me a lot as a kid. Most often, I would feel an evil spirit or force holding me down so I couldn't move at all. But I was very aware of my own breathing and little details like the way my blankets or sheets felt against my skin. One time, I was sleeping on my stomach, fell into sleep paralysis, and perceived a demon trying to force its way into my body through my back while it held my head down. I remember feeling so powerless, but trying to fight the possession so hard. That was probably the last time I slept on my stomach. The weird thing is that I don't believe in the demon thing and I'm not scared by it in the slightest normally. Six weeks ago, it happened again for the first time in probably 15 years. This time, I fell asleep while watching a movie or something, laying on my back. In the paralysis, I obviously couldn't move and my arms were crossed over my chest like a burial pose. My breathing felt really weird, kind of dry and dusty in a way. At one point, I perceived that I was dead and mummified. I could see my own face and I looked like I had died thousands of years ago. The feeling of actually being dead was one of the most disturbing things I have ever experienced. <laughs> 